The city that never sleeps. That's how New Yorkers like to describe their city. It's a city always bustling with activities. At this time of the year, when world leaders are gathered in the city for the United Nations General Assembly, another event has brought together business leaders from Nigeria and beyond. And that's the New York presentation of the book, Africa Arise and Shine, written by business mogul and chairman of Zenith Bank, Mr. Jim Ovia. After a successful launch in Lagos, Nigeria, the author thought it wise to bring the book to the doorsteps of global business leaders. And what better place than the prestigious Harvard Business Club of New York? Mr. Ovia was a perfect host, personally welcoming his esteemed guests. Many of whom had made out time from their business schedules to be at the event. And they cut across different sectors of the economy, from banking to the media, academics and political leaders. International model Naomi Campbell also made it to the event. They're all here to share in the author's vision of changing the narrative about Africa as captured in his first book. It's been truly long overdue. We needed to start challenging the perception that our friends, our brothers, our colleagues, and those who do business here in this part of the world, in America or European countries, Asia, and they, they, many of them still look at Africa as a dark continent. Sometimes when you talk about Africa, they, you say you're from Nigeria, they say, okay, how far is Nigeria to Africa? <laughs> <laughs> Not truly so. And, um, and uh, they assume that if you are an African, you are, and um, you say you're from, say, Accra, Ghana, they said, okay, you must know someone from Congo, Brazzaville. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's, the, that's the perception. But that is not as painful or as hurtful as when they see continue to refer Africa to as a dark continent. Uh, in, in almost all the history books, geography books, Africa is being looked upon as a continent of woes and a continent of coups. The three C's, the coups, military um, coups, uh, corruptions, and conflicts, you know. Truly so, the three C's. Yeah, definitely we have to have rule of law. We have to have yeah. corporate governance. And um, without corporate governance, businesses cannot really strive. And without rule of law, investors may not be able to get their money back. And many African countries are beginning to ensure that those initiatives are perfected. In Nigeria, for example, many foreign investors, they're able to get their investments and also get their returns back home. Renowned journalist Zena Padawi moderates Zena's the day's event, starting with a no-holds-barred session with the author, covering the his humble narrative. beginning, his education, and his foray into business. Truly 28 years ago, when we started the bank, and uh, the issue of having the bank license at that point in time, and had worked for only about 10 years, I wasn't the only one that did that. Actually, there are two, three other of my colleagues that preceded me. They were, they, were, they were also young at that time. We were in our terrace, me to late terrace, truly. And um, two other guys have done it, and successfully so. That propelled me. That also inspired me to do that. And those two guys, um, I think they're on their way coming. And I thought, if they can do that, maybe I should also do the same thing also. And uh, who knows? Those banks are doing very well today. And uh, Zenith Bank is doing fairly reasonably okay also, just like those other two banks. Apart from following his gut instincts, one other factor that the author says has helped shape his career and business successes is his exposure to how technology can be used to enhance business efficiency. Although the author has made some giant strides in business covering areas like banking, insurance, real estate and telecoms, 
One project that is very close to his heart is the James Hope College, which he established in his hometown of Agbo in Delta State, South South Nigeria. That provides scholarship to over 50% of its students. <laughs> Geography. It's actually 